Welcome to the Informed Woman magazine, where science meets clarity and knowledge becomes strength. I'm William Bologna. Let's make women's health understandable together. What exactly is endometriosis, and why does it cause so much pain? It begins when endometrial glands and stroma, the tissue that should line the uterus, appear outside the uterus. The ovaries, fallopian tubes, pelvic peritoneum, even the rectovaginal septum. These misplaced cells behave as if they're still inside the uterus. They thicken, break down, and bleed under the influence of estrogen and its withdrawal each cycle. But here, there's nowhere for that blood to go, triggering inflammation, scarring, and the intense pelvic pain millions of women live with. And at the center of this disease is estrogen. Think of it as fuel. Endometriotic lesions locally overproduce estrogen, and they carry a unique receptor pattern, high estrogen receptor beta and low estrogen receptor alpha. This imbalance drives inflammation, pain, and makes the tissue resistant to progesterone. Because the receptors and their signaling pathways are altered, progesterone can't control the estrogen-powered proliferation. The result, ongoing inflammation, lesion survival, and adhesions that tether organs together, worsening pain. This is why treatments often aim to tip the balance. Using progestins or hormonal contraceptives to amplify progesterone's effects, suppress ovulation, and reduce estrogen production. Understanding how estrogen and progesterone interact in endometriosis isn't just academic. It's the key to better therapies, less pain, and better fertility outcomes for the millions affected. Thanks for watching another video by the Informed Woman magazine. Please feel free to comment and ask questions. Subscribe for more science-driven medical insights.